What's up guys? Today I want to talk about some of the most amazing Chinese character tattoos I found on the internet. These are the creme de la creme, the S tier tattoos that anybody would be super proud to be wearing. Delicious. And of course, I look Chinese so that makes me automatically qualified to talk about this topic. Come on. So to start off, we got this tattoo that says Wai Jin. This first character means outside and the second character means person. So together this means kind of like outside a person to uh, go beyond oneself, to push yourself beyond your limits. And this guy, you know, he clearly has aspirations in life and he wants to get ahead. Next up we have this uh, pretty plain tattoo, but if you actually look at it, it's quite genius. It says Ai Shu. The first character is just Ai, so you know, love, it's a value that a lot of people hold dear, and Shu is rat, so that might seem weird, but I'm guessing he was born in the year of the rat, you know, that, that makes sense. But then I noticed there's actually a secret meaning in this tattoo. In the song Lao Shu Ai Da Mi, the chorus goes Wa Ai Ni, Ai Jin Ni, Jiu Xiang Lao Shu Ai Da Mi. Now if you divide that into two separate lines, you'll notice that Ai is the fourth character of the first line, and Shu is the fourth character of the second line, and four is a lucky number in Chinese. So this guy found a genius way to express his love with just two characters. How meaningful. And if you thought that was creative, wait till you see this. Okay, this tattoo has the character Jin, which is gold, and then following it has Zhu, which is pig, but the pig is upside down. So, this is actually a play on sound, because in Chinese, Dao means upside down, and it also sounds like Dao, which means to arrive. And I heard from some old Mexican lady in Chinatown that pig is a sign of prosperity. So this is like saying the golden pig is arriving, or has arrived, which is a sign of fortune to come. Okay, enough on guys, let's talk about some tattoos for ladies. Um, our next candidate here chose a three character design for her neck. Uh, let's interpret this together. The first thing is actually a radical, it's not a character, but it means heart. Uh, the second character means life, and the third one means feeling. So heart, life, and feeling. Uh, excellent choice of words here that she chose. I don't think they're meant to be interpreted together, they're just three separate ideas that are very meaningful. Of course, if she had attached the first radical to the middle character, then that word would have read um, sexy, but I like your creative approach also. Another neck tattoo, this one says woman, show, and express. So she must have chosen these as symbols of empowerment and encouragement to herself, which is amazing. I will mention that the middle one is actually once again a radical and not a character, but I mean, hey, why should we hate on radicals? Radicals have meanings, they have feelings, and they are independent. I love that people are now giving radicals the opportunity to shine by themselves. I mean, I'll be honest, if it were me, I would not have the courage to do that. I probably would have attached it to the last character and have that word say goddess. But I guess that's just too mainstream, so kudos to her for giving radicals the chance to shine. Okay, anyways, back to men making great life choices. And speaking of life choices, this guy tattooed death and life on his arms. But the death is actually reversed. So that means the meaning is reversed, symbolizing the opposite of death, which is life. So clearly this guy has a profound appreciation for life, and I think that's really commendable. I mean, I don't know his backstory, but it really makes me happy that somebody recognizes what a gift life truly is. Now this guy surely is a moral law-abiding citizen since he has Wu E Bu Zuo tattooed on his arm. If we interpret the first two characters, Wu E, it means no evil, and the next two characters, Wu Zuo means to not do, so it means together, I guess, um, don't do no evil. I think as humans, you know, we're all trying to do the right thing, so it's very commendable that he has made such a commitment to stay on the right path. And don't mind what the dictionary says. Okay, and finally, our last tattoo, this guy- uh, Cut, cut, cut! Yo! I, I can't twist the meaning of this one. This middle-aged dude's got fairy tattooed on his arm. When in doubt, just do what this guy did. And tattoo, I don't know, I don't speak Chinese on your arm.